Hey guys, Steve here with the Scroll Saw Workshop. I'm really going to uh, take a left turn here from the product reviews that I normally do, uh, but this company sent me this kit to review, and it's such a beautiful product that I just couldn't help but accept it and uh, told them that I'd be happy to do a review for them and then provide a link to it. Uh, this is a what they call a steampunk kit or a steampunk butterfly. Uh, it's a mechanical kit that you put together. I believe there's about 150 pieces. Uh, they're jewel. It ends up looking like a large piece of jewelry, uh, but it's really beautiful. I'll put a link in the description to this product and to their website, and uh, I will break in and out of this video because I'm going to uh, take this, these bags apart and try to sort out all these parts and begin to put it together. Uh, the kit instructions uh, say about two hours to a, for assembly. Uh, looking at this kit, it looks a little more challenging than that, but uh, I'm going to get the parts out of the bag here, sort them out, and see what we've got. I just finished up the uh, four bags of the head parts, and to be honest with you, other than the fact that the parts are small and you kind of have to hold them in place uh, with a couple of, I use these uh, quick clamps to hold pieces in place as I screwed the screws together and put the little tiny nuts on. Other than the fact that the parts are very small, the instructions are actually really good. So I don't know if you can see this very well, but this is the head section. So we will move on now to, I guess, let's see what's next in the instructions. Uh, that was page one, and now we're going to move on to the body parts. So let's give that a try. I've got all the parts laid out for the body construction. Let me show you how this kit works. Uh, in the instructions, you have these different sections, and we're in the body section right now. And bag one is listed right here, and this is bag one. So in bag one will be this screw, that part, that part, that part, that part, and that part. And all you simply do is open this bag and slide these pieces together, just like it shows right here. And then this right here is the finished uh, image of what it should look like. So you'll have one, two, three, four parts in this bag, and that will be the finished image. Okay, we just completed step one, bag one of the head or of the body. And uh, I had mentioned that there would be four pieces in it, one, two, three, four. But when you look right here, this is times two. So there were actually enough for two of these. So there's the pieces that I assembled. There's the finished drawing of what it should look like. And little things that you want to watch for is this screw did not go through this center hole on this gear. It actually went through one of the hubs. So you have to watch real closely and follow the instructions. And they had actually circled the two places where the screw should go through. So your natural instinct is to want to put the screw in the middle of this gear because that's the way you would typically use a gear uh, but in this case it's a piece of art so we got times two two pieces the screw went through the uh, hub wow that was uh, a challenge and a lot of fun I really like this thing um, again I know this is outside of what I normally do here on the blog as far as reviews, but uh, this was just so much fun. I wanted to share it with you guys. Um, I did have a couple of little problems, nothing major. I'll spin it around here and show you. There was one piece back here on the tail that was missing out of the kit. Uh, I'll talk to the uh, uh, manufacturer and see if maybe they can send me that piece, but it really doesn't look that bad anyway. Um, I will say this, it is a challenge. I didn't finish it in anywhere near two hours. It took me quite a bit longer than that. Um, of course I was doing the video and I was taking the SD card into the computer and uploading the video and so that added a lot of time too. Uh, but there's a few things I would recommend. One is make sure you're in a space where if you drop a part you can find it. Um, if, these parts are small, very small and uh, it's a challenge. You, you might need some tweezers to hold parts as you're trying to uh, start a, a, a screw or uh, get the nut on the end of a screw because they are tiny parts. Um, I also, uh, I think I did the, this uh, base or whatever you want to call it, display stand wrong. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what I did wrong. I, I got kind of tired towards the end and uh, was rushing 
and uh, I don't think I've got this thing put together right but that's okay I'll go back and look at it later um, all in all it's a challenge but it's a fun challenge so if you like this kind of stuff if you're interested in the steampunk punk uh, type of art I think this is an outstanding um, challenge and like I said I had a lot of fun putting it together I'll put some photographs that I've taken uh, with my light tent to get a little more clear picture of this rather than just in the video um, so you can see the details a little better um, this kit I believe was right at the $60 range now again I did not pay for this kit they sent it to me as a review unit uh, but I do not have an affiliate link or at least I don't at this point so the uh, link in the description will be directly to the website where they sell this product and uh, I, I really do believe that $60 is a good value for this piece of art um, I will say this if you're easily frustrated with small items or uh, difficult to assemble projects this may not be for you but if you love puzzles and you love to put things together this is an outstanding puzzle to put together uh, the instructions were good uh, so I don't have any complaints at all I'm Steve good thanks for being here with me at the scroll saw workshop and we will catch you next time